Hello guys, in this video I will be discussing how to use the CodeForces API uh, to communicate with the uh, CodeForces website and obtain the information available from the website. So actually I have made a website using CodeForces API. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make the uh, how to use the CodeForces API. I will not show you how to make a website using the CodeForces API. Now we will go through the code. Uh, but I will not go much into the much in much in depth to the explanation of the uh, creation of the website part. I will show you this website where I have used the CodeForces API. So in this website, uh, what I am doing is that uh, so th this website will help you to uh, create a mashup. So when when multiple users are part participating in a mashup, it's hard to find the problems that are not solved by uh, all the users participating in that particular mashup right so i have made a solution for that in this website we you know type in the names of all the users that are participating in the mashup and the the uh, the rating of the problem that we want and when we press submit this will use the code forces api to communicate with the uh, communicate with code forces and find a problem that was not solved by any of the users participating in the mashup so this particular problem is not solved by uh, both the users participating in this mashup yeah so that's how this website works now i will show you the code for this website and will help you understand how the how the how we are using the word forces api using by showing you the example of this website uh, yeah so this is actually a, a next day's website next js website uh, you can if you want to uh, clone the website you can go uh, go over here and you can uh, pay, uh, copy this link and you can clone this website uh, into your local uh, system and you can uh, run the website using the npm run the command if you have if, if you have an npm installed in your device uh, this is a next js website so in this website, uh, so even though it is an XJS website, I have mostly you know, used the syntax of ReactJS. You know, I haven't utilized much of the functionalities of NextJS. So it's basically a Re ReactJS website. So if you go to the app folder here, inside the app folder, we have the uh, pages of the website. So the initial page is the initial page is this page this page so this is not important so we are printing welcome to code forces crea uh, mashup creator and uh, find problems for your mashup that's the button uh, that's this button and when we press on this button we will go to this find page that's the important page so i will show you the find page inside the find page we are utilizing the code forces api to uh, get the result that we want so actually we can uh, so how how to use the codeforces api is that you can go to the codeforces website and you can uh, click on this api api button over here and you will get the documentation you will get the entire documentation of the codeforces api and uh, so these are the functions that are you know possible using the codeforces api and if you press on a particular function if you press on a particular function uh, it will show you the entire documentation on how to you know uh, uh, use that so this is the link or oh, this is the uh, API link uh, used to uh, get you know, the blog entry commands. So if you have a blog entry ID, so you give that particular ID over here. And if you, you know, uh, <laughs> call an API using this link, uh, what you will get is the, all the commands of that particular blog entry. And similarly, I will show you similarly. Similarly, user dot friends. Okay, that may be that's a uh, okay. Not user dot friends. Uh, problem set dot problems. Okay, problem set dot uh, problem set dot problems. Uh, okay, here is the documentation. So, uh, if you have a ta uh, tag, if you have a tag, you can give the tag over here, and you can 
uh, call this API link and you will get all the problems that, uh, that are present in code forces with this particular tag. Or if you don't have a tag, you can also, you know, not give a tag over here and you will get the entire problems in code forces. So that's how you get, uh, that's how you use the, you know, API, uh, API calls and you will get, you can, you can have the entire documentation over here. And as you can see over here, these are the methods, these are the functions or these are the API links to call. So these give the documentation of the API links to call. But if, if you see over here, uh, there is a, another heading called a return objects. So return objects will be the uh, the objects that uh, that particular API code will return. So if you, uh, so for rating change the object that we will receive after calling that particular API, API code, the object that we will receive will be of this particular format. So the object that we will receive will have a contest ID which will be an integer contest name which will be a, a string a handle which will be a string a rank which will be an integer uh, rating update time seconds which will be a, a which, which will be an integer uh, old rating which will be an integer new rating which will be an integer and so on. So these are the objects that the particular API code will return. I can go through that. and i will show you my particular website so and actually there are uh, okay there are two things as well that you have to keep track of so in my website in my website uh, all the stuff that i am accessing is public all the data that i am accessing is public so the data that i am accessing is that so when i type in the name of a particular user over here i want to uh, know the problems that he have solved the problems that he has solved is public. So if you go to the Codeforce website and if you go to a particular user's uh, you know, profile, you can see all the problems that he has solved, right? So it is a public data. So that's public. Then another thing that is public is, then the other thing that I'm using is all the problems in, all the problems of a particular rating. That thing is also public. You can, if you go to Codeforce, you can see all the problems of a particular rating, right? So that thing is also public. So these are the major two things that I'm using and both of these things are public. So there is no need to authenticate myself. But if you are using something that is, you know, uh, unique to you, that is, you know, that is uh, private to you, you have to authenticate yourself. You have to prove that you are the guy uh, and you have what? You have access to, uh, to this particular information. You have access to this particular information. That information may include maybe your, you know, uh, uh, email ID, uh, stuff like that. Uh, some personal information that you have on your website. Usually, uh, uh, you know, usually all the information that we will be accessing will be, you know, public. So need, no need to authenticate yourself. But if you are, uh, you know, accessing private information, you can you can uh, know how to authenticate yourself by uh, referring uh, this documentation. I will not go through this because usually the most of the stuff that we will be you know accessing will be public information and there is no need to authenticate yourself if you if you want to access private private information you can go through this documentation uh, under the subheading uh, authorization and you can learn how to authorize yourself now i will show you how to access the public information so here here i am getting the uh, solved problems for a particular user so what I'm doing here is I am giving a variable handle and giving a variable handle and I'm using this particular API link from that documentation. I refer the documentation and I got this particular API link and I am you know getting all the problems, uh, the, the recent problems. The recent problems means the problems from 1 to 10,000. So that, that will be so the recent 10,000 problems that he have solved. So I'm getting the recent 10,000 problems that he has solved. Uh, nobody will solve more than 10,000 problems, right? Nobody has solved more than 10,000 problems in uh, code for uh, years. So I'm uh, getting the uh, the uh, recent 10,000 problems that the particular uh, handle handle user has solved, and I am storing it in response. 
and I am mapping the data to a uh, array array called the problem problems data and then what I am doing is that I am getting I am I am actually I am getting the problems of a particular rating as I have told you right so we need to get all the problems of a particular rating so I am you know accessing uh, all the problems of the problem set and I am setting the rating of the pro uh, problem uh, problems to rating required so I am setting the, so this rating required is a variable that we will give this uh, give the input to this variable and I am getting all the problems in the code forces uh, website which have this particular rating and I am storing it in response and then I am you know storing it into a uh, array called uh, all problems of that particular rating and then what I am doing is that then I am filtering out the problems so I am filtering out the problems that the you know the the, the users have sold the the people have sold and the people have sold so that's what I am doing over here so if a person have sold a particular problem if a person have sold a particular problem I am filtering that out and I am storing the rest of the problem in a array called unsolved problems and I am uh, I am you know outputting a random random problem from this unsolved problem list using a you know math dot math, math, math dot random function and I am displaying that uh, random uh, not solved problem inside the website so so when I give a particular rating so the the problem that will get output over here outputted over here will be a random problem out out of all the unsolved problems uh, that I that I haven't solved of this particular rating so this is mainly uh, uh, mainly it mainly how the code force API works it's actually a, a simple API right simple API there is not much there is not much complicated complication the rest of the stuff is related to react js you can go to this particular you know uh, url to see the entire code and you can uh, see how i have uh, written the code so this is ma uh, mainly it for the, the code for api part yeah that's mainly it and you can visit the visit my website over here in this link as well go check out the website and like okay and if you have understood how to uh, use this code force api please comment comment and like and subscribe and you if you haven't understood my explanation please comment down there as well so i will be able to improve my explanation in the future thank you